Pakistan is a region where winds transform uh, landscape and lives. The 120-day wind system, driven from northwest to southeast, brings life or despair. When the healthy home wetlands, it's a gift, cooling the hot summer. But uh, when dry, it breathes dust and uh, sandstorm that bury homes, disappear villages, and uh, spread disease affecting not just Iran, but uh, also Afghanistan and Pakistan too. Imagine a time when the ancients, the wind specials of Sistan, harnessed the winds that shaped their lands. Uh, with deep understanding, they invented the tank, a wonder not just uh, for agriculture, but, but uh, by accumulating sand, lighting, lightening the soil, but crucially for diverting deadly wind blown sand away from the communities. They discovered the wind's secret knowing how sand travels at heights up to one meter in uh, what we today call the saltation layer. Uh, their wisdom taught them to distinguish between the sand source, its path and its interaction with the structure, wisely choosing not to fight uh, but uh, to harness this force of nature for taking the relays in a sustainable dance uh, with the wind. This ancient knowledge is not just history, is a testament to human ingenuity and living in harmony with the earth. Sadly, uh, this cool trick is fading away and uh, not many new generations, even the ones in charge, uh, really get uh, how it works. They think it's just for accumulating sand, missing its real magic in diverting the sand stores. Because of the mix-up, um, we are seeing projects such as the oily mulch in sand's pass. Uh, that try to stop sand in drying the spots, making it worse. Uh, it's a piece of wisdom. We are close to losing, unfortunately, and it's about time we all learn its uh, true value again. With our research, we are not just uh, looking back into history. We are aiming to bring a piece of it back uh, to life. Uh, we believe that by documenting and understanding the tank, uh, this indigenous knowledge, nature-based solution for wind balloon sand mitigation. Uh, we can reintroduce it in not just in Sistan, but in similar region around the world. However, um, it's crucial to remember that the, these techniques are about managing the risk, not eliminating them. The real backbone of Sistan 8,000 year history, the Hamun wetlands, once gone, uh, signal crisis not just for local communities but for neighbors in Afghanistan and Pakistan too. Uh, this work is uh, more than academic, it's a call to tackle environmental challenges that impact life of people across the border.